Hi everyone, this is Srinivas. Welcome to Amirpet Technologies. So in this video, I'm going to explain about uh, for each loop in Java. So what is for each loop? The easy syntax to process all elements of array. First, I'll tell you what is the syntax and how to use the for each loop. What are the advantages and what are the limitations also, I'll tell you. See, suppose I'm taking one array of elements and I want to display all elements of array. So generally what we will use for loop for index, index starting with a zero. Right here it is ending with length arr dot the total length minus one i plus plus. I'm starting from zero index. And the total length, how many elements are present? Minus one each element. Now what I am doing, ARR of i, nothing but each location element, we are taking into one variable, suppose x. Why? I will explain. The first element will come and store into x. Now we process this x. I don't want to process. Simply I want to display that x. So first, what is i value? 0. So here, 0th location element is 3. The 3 will come and store into this x, printing that 3. Next, i value increase. That second location element is 7. That 7 will come and store into this x. 7 will print. All elements will print from start to end. But if you want to process all elements of array, Instead of writing this much syntax, the simple syntax they have given for that is for each loop for just colon colon from which array you want to process the elements ARR that ARR we need to give no need to specify the starting index, no need to specify the ending index and no need to specify the modification increment or decrement. From this array, automatically each element will come and store into one variable what we have given. Suppose x. See, here instead of writing this much code, this much code, simply we can write this one. Is a starting value, ending value, increment, decrement. Instead of that, we are directly get the information from the array into x. And we are printing the value directly system dot out dot print ln x we are printing. So x means the value will print. So this is the simple syntax they have given is called for each loop. Sir, any limitations? Yes, limitations are there for that. What are the limitations? Simple. If you want to process elements in reverse order, it is impossible. I want to display elements in array in reverse order. You must go with the for loop only. We cannot use for each loop. Next, I want to process elements from specific set. From here to here only I want to process. No, in that case also for each loop is not possible. If you want to process elements, all elements in forward direction one by one. Sir, so alternative elements I want to process, not allowed. So, for each loop can process all elements in forward direction. That is one by one, one by one. In that case only, we are using for each loop. But in most of the cases, we process all elements for searching, to find the sum, to print the even numbers, to count the prime numbers. Any operation you do, Right, we will do on all elements of array. So that's why. So most of the cases, 90%, we use a for each loop only to process the elements of array. Hope you understood. Please practice. Thank you all.